We can test it all right now. Can you find something about yourself that is always present, always aware, always awake? Can you just test it for a moment? There's something about us that is always there, always on. You cannot switch it off. In the balance view training, we call it open intelligence. And why do we call it that way? An intelligent is, is that it is aware, that knows. Like, it's at the basis of everything. It's the intelligence that knows everything, everything that you know, everything that you feel, everything that you sense, <laughs> that you think. What knows, what looking through your eyes, that's open intelligence. It's open because it's not closed. <laughs> it's not a closed system. It's not a, a closed identity, a closed mind. It's not starting here and stopping here. It's open. It's open. We can all relate to that when we look at the sky. Skies are vast and open. No matter what kind of, um, what birds appear <laughs> in the sky or if it's raining, if it's, um, if it's a, a lightning in the sky, the, the skies remain open. And that's the nature of our mind too. No matter what comes up, if it's traumatic or not, if it's blissful, if it's a, a sorrow, pain, a pain in our heart or a pain in our toe. You know, it's, it appears, it appears somewhere. Where does it appear? Examine in your own experience. The introduction that we gave, that Nettie shared, introduction to open intelligence is so important when, if you're here for the first time, and also if you're here for a few times, Introduce yourself to open intelligence. Stop thinking for a moment and ask yourself what remains when you stop thinking. Just for that moment. It's an instant moment. You don't need to prolong that. And in that moment, what is looking? What is sensing? There is alertness. There is openness, cognizance, the power to know. And also the power to know the next thought that comes. You see, of course, we cannot... Stop thinking all the time. We all have our life, our circumstances, our pain, whatever. But just to introduce yourself, to know what is at the basis, you stop thinking for a moment, you see, okay, there is something about me, always present, always stable, always open. And when thoughts and emotions come up now, it also appears within that open intelligence. It's not separate. It doesn't appear somewhere else. It doesn't appear somewhere else. It appears right here. And it's inseparable from open intelligence, from that stability, from that openness, from that awareness, you can say. Okay, so that's so important. It's the inseparability of open intelligence and data. And data, it's everything we perceive, all our thoughts, emotions, sensations. We call it data here. Data are inseparable from open intelligence. Nothing for you to think about. Instinctively recognize it in your own experience. In a short moment of open intelligence, repeated many times, <clears throat> until it becomes continuous, spontaneous, natural. Why? Because it is natural for us to live at ease, to live in complete mental and emotional stability to live in a complete perceptual openness, no matter what we feel, regardless of what we're feeling or thinking or experiencing, we have the power <coughs> to be of benefit to ourselves and others, to remain stable and at ease. And it, it, it maybe sounds good to you, or maybe you're a bit suspicious about it, but you see, you have to test it in your own experience to see. We can all share with you, not only me and Nettie, but so many people all over the world and here too, living this life, this lifestyle, and uh, with, um, with complete assurance that it's, it's possible. And it's obvious in the example of people, how they speak, how we relate, how we, how, what we do. We are not somewhere else, like when you speak to us, we're not spaced out. <laughs> we are right here, available, and we're living our life. We, we all have life, yes? So, just so you know, just as a note, we all have different circumstances, you know, myself included. I, I also have thoughts and emotions. It's not that I have empty mind and I don't think about anything. But within that, 
I gain confidence in that relaxation. It's not only relaxation, like relaxing sounds good, but it's more profound that, that, than that. Discover for yourself, why not? If you practice so many other things and you think you know, fine, no problem. Test it anyway. And if you think you have no idea what we are talking, we are talking about, that's also fine. You can easily test it because it's not something that is out of reach. It's something that is immediately accessible for every person, every human being that wants to upgrade the intelligence, really want to see what we're made of. We, we're not flawed in any way. We're not victims of our thoughts and, and emotions. If you have traumas in your life, if you, if you come with a, a, a big luggage from your life or something happened to you and something will happen to all of us and you know, we, we never know what will come up in our life. We just don't know. And that we can all agree, it's, a life is unpredictable. And to have something to rely on in every moment and to have also complete readiness to know what to do to have complete support, to really confirm that everything can allow to be as it is. And not only that, not only like, okay, as it is, of course, I can be sad, it's natural, I can be depressed. It's not stopping there. We extract the power from all these negative thoughts and emotions or experiences, and we bring forth immediate benefit to ourselves and others. We can be of tremendous benefit regardless of what we're thinking or feeling. And everything we ever experience in our life can be of great support for others. And again, the instinctive recognition of that is important. If you come with a, an amazing mind that you have a brilliant intellectual understanding, it doesn't make you <clears throat> better than another person. You know, we all equal open intelligence is accessible to everyone, whether you think you're stupid or you think you're brilliant. Open intelligence is equally available for everyone and is for the benefit of all. It's, and it's not something that we get. It's not an item. It's, it's natural for all of us. It's within us. It's our own intelligence. We just communicate here and say open intelligence. Okay, so the practice of, of short moment is um, you can take it with you today. It's a gift. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a gift that's always present for everyone. But when you come here, you also can hear our own experience, how it is for us to live a life when we take a short moment. So for me, to live a life free of ups and downs, free of um, negative thoughts and feelings, Free, I'm not saying not feeling negative, I'm saying free of that. So free to feel and think and experience anything in my life and, and experience complete stability regardless and perceptual openness. And how, do, and how do I live like that? With the support, with the short moments of open intelligence, of allowing everything I experience to be as it is. A thought comes up, a sorrow or anger or desire or overwhelming emotion. You know, when you wake up, overwhelming emotion. Oh, my future. Oh, my life. What am I going to do with my life? Did you have this thought? I know I had it so many times. And it's random. You know, it just comes. What am I going to do with my life? Or what am the hell I'm doing with my life? You know, it comes. And then what do we do with that? You know, some of us, I know I indulge in so many stories, what I've done wrong. <clears throat> and what I should have done better. And then trying to improve my life and my future and coming to conclusions of what is me and my identity and how will my life will look like to the worse or to the better. What can I do? Trying to achieve some, something. It can come any day, no matter if you're 12 or 74. It doesn't matter. What will I do in my life? <clears throat> and then for me, to take short moments there and to relax. So like we had, stop indulging, <laughs> not replacing the story with a better one. Oh, it will be better. My life will probably, everything I experience now will mean something in the future. I will see the results. You know, it's, it's fine. It's fine to do. I did that too, but it didn't give me 
an immediate benefit. It didn't give me relief in that moment of what I'm going to do in my life. Or oh, I'm so jealous, or I'm so angry, I'm so irritated. What I'm going to do, to do with that? How I'm going to deal with that? So not to indulge, not to replace your data to better one, and not to avoid your feelings and emotions, the pain or the sorrow, anything. Let it be as it is. That's the practice. Let it be as it is for a short moment. Relax body and mind. And a description comes up and then you relax again. And the soul comes up and sensations and it feels like something and you relax again. And you rest mind and body completely. And you repeat that. It's new. Maybe you will think, oh, nothing happens. But just wait, continue with that practice because it will bring you an amazing results. Results that you, you, you cannot really pin down. Where does it come from? Like, why do I feel at ease when I'm so nervous? Why do I feel at ease when I'm really angry and really jealous or having lots of pain? Why am I just so stable? It wouldn't make sense to you. Okay, so that's a sign that you can see. But then continue to relax moment to moment. And these short moments, they, they become longer in a very natural way. Why? Because it's, uh, again, it's natural for us <laughs> to live like that. It's natural for us to be of benefit to ourselves. It's not natural for us to indulge, avoid and replace. We think that the data, they are enemy. We have to change what we think and what we feel. We have to change ourselves to be a better person. But what if we are not? changing anything then there is relief try not to change today all the things you want to change there are many right i know i have many things i want to change many many things and every day i just take this choice just to relax with everything as it is sometimes it's like wow i really want to change it you know it's urgent and i rest with the urgency i rest with the trying to find a reason why it happened to me today or why it happened to me last week or last year or next year probably will happen again. So not making conclusions <laughs> about ourselves, that keeps us very small, very small, very victim, victimized. Instead, complete perceptual openness again and again, complete perceptual openness, just to hear these words that's already relaxing. So you can come and hear it every day, that you're completely perfect as you are, that nothing about you needs to change. Whether you believe it or not, come and come again. You're skeptical, come. You don't believe us, come. Just, just come anyway. Don't give up on yourself. Because that's what we did most of our life, just giving up on ourselves, thinking that this is life. This is my traumatic situation. It will be with me all of my life. It's a, I made a scene, I, this is my karma, this is projecting to the future and that's it. But all the while, it's up to each one of us. How do we want to live our life? How do we see ourselves? It's nothing really to think about and wonder. It's relaxing right here. Just let yourself be exactly as you are and see how amazing you are in that simplicity. And all those things you really want to change and things that are harmful for you or feels abusive, you will find a way to change it. Why? Because you're not collapsing to the stories or why it happens to me and all these conclusions about yourself again. You are empowered to make direct changes for the benefit of yourself and others. You really see what to do. You're empowered to speak in ways that are powerful and mean something. Not in ways that are just impulsive. I'm just saying what I want to say because I'm honest. <clears throat> in, when we rely on open intelligence, we have true honesty. True honesty. Honesty that is also um, considering the benefit of all. Caring for everyone. Really, it comes so natural. It's not something like I prepare in the morning, I think what to say. It comes naturally for all of us. If you speak to any of us here, 
it's like you say, wow, it's so natural to be a human being. I don't need to change myself being a human being. So that's again and again, short moments, short moments. But all kinds of thoughts and emotions, all kinds of data, doubts, anything can come up. But you can rely on the simple practice of short moments, repeated many times. And that will even everything for, for you. Like it did for me and for many of us. That clarity, that stability of mind, that lucid, just pure. Everything is just pure and open and lively, you know. Also, many things are coming up. But we know what to do. And the support is always available. And maybe you will think, oh, support, oh, probably they want something for me. But it's, it's not like that, you know. It's like, come and test it. See how generous the support is. Okay, we, we ask for contributions, but of course, you know, we all, it's, it's just like a natural way of just being together and supporting each other, but then see what the value you receive from taking the support. We're all so available, like overly available. <coughs> really, it's like, oh my God, I think I'm amazed by the support. I'm also supported. So... I rely on the Four Mainstays because it gives me an amazing support and it's, it's just freely available. Everyone is welcome. So open your eyes, open your ears and wow, listen to something that is truly beneficial and is uh, for you, for human society, for the benefit of all. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. If you test it here, it's really true. Everything we do is for the benefit of everyone. <laughs>